I don't get me wrong. I understand the frustration with this because it does feel like a slap to the face. You know, it's like disrespect to Simmers because it does feel like the Sims 4, as of late, has been focusing in different areas besides the game itself. I mean, they opened up a, you know, merch store to sell their Bob Pancake plushies and all this extra shit. What is up, guys? This is your boy, Superior Simmer. If you have some more information regarding The Sims 4, if you guys like news, updates, and discussions, please hit the sub button. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. I also do have an affiliate link with Instant Gaming to bring you guys cheaper Sims packs. If you guys click the link in the description and type in Sims, there'll be a bunch of deals and I do get a small commission. Without further ado, let's get into the content. Okay, so heading on over to Twitter, The Sims posted saying, Celebrate the holiday season with The Sims for a holiday sale. For first steps to snowball fights, check out the packs on sale and create your own legacy of family fun today. So yeah, if you guys weren't aware, there is a Sims sale going on on the EA store. I feel like there's been a lot of sales this year, like a lot. I just reminded that my first stuff pack is free until January something something. It's like next year, so you guys have a bunch of time to get that. I believe that's only a PC slash Mac exclusive. I don't know why it's not for console. But speaking of free, if you guys weren't aware, the Romantic Garden stuff pack is also free. That is actually on console and PC and Mac also, so everybody can get that. The Romantic Garden stuff pack is a cool pack. I think the Wishing Well was a really cool object that we got in game. I could be wrong, but I just don't see people talking about the Wishing Well. And don't get me wrong, I don't use the object as much as I should, but I think the Wishing Well is pretty cool. Now, believe it or not, there actually has been a little bit of controversy with these free packs. A lot of people feel like these packs should be refunded back because they had to pay for them in the past. And like now it's like, what the hell, they're free. Also, the fact that the My First Stuff pack is only for PC and Mac and not for console is another issue. So there has been a few people on Twitter kind of like upset about that. And I kind of understand why, but at the end of the day, technically this is not really like, it's like they're giving it away for free. It's like on a discounted sale for 100% off. So like, I feel like that's how they get away with it. Cause technically it's a discounted price. If that makes sense. But yeah. Some people are fine with this. Like they're saying, you know, at the end of the day, like I enjoy this pack. It was such a while ago when these packs came out. So like, who cares? And there's other people who are kind of just like, I want a refund or something, some type of incentive because the packs are technically free. Um, I don't really know. It's, it's, I don't know. I, I personally don't care like that these packs are free. Like it doesn't really concern me. Comment down below. Do you feel like it's unfair? Do you guys feel like we should be getting compensated or refunded uh, back these packs? We know EA will never do that. And to be honest, I don't really care in my personal opinion. But yeah, there is that. Now on Twitter, the official Sims posted saying, what a year it has been. Thank you, Simmons, for a big year full of new funny friends, delicious foods, and lots of woohoos. Oh my goodness. We can't wait to see what next year brings. So now the Sims has posted kind of like this data or statistics, whatever you want to call it, of how many hours have been played. How many hours have been played in build mode, live mode, deaths, infant deliveries, uh, Sims created, woohoos. That's a lot of goddamn woohoos. Oh my goodness. Horses, um, gallery downloads, and the most cooked recipes, which is like eggs and toast, mac and cheese, and the home cheese sandwich. I believe the home cheese sandwich and eggs and toast because I know the eggs and toast is kind of like your starter recipe. And the ham cheese sandwich is kind of like my go-to for quick meals when I can't afford to make actual food. And then the berry waffles is a top home chef hustle recipe. So there's that. But yeah, I think it's pretty cool um, that there's like a whole data showing like what players do in game or at least how many players are doing what in game. I know a lot of people are kind of confused. I was kind of confused too. I was like, how are they, you know, collecting this data? Like I know there's something they're doing, but like how specifically, and apparently there's a setting and options where you can make it so you can turn on your data sharing. So they'll know when you're, you know, woohooing with your sims or making uh, recipes or stuff like that. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, obviously you can turn that off if you don't want them knowing that stuff. So, you know, do you now, if you guys weren't aware, because I wasn't, there is a new kind of like mini series, a Sims TV show called not creative. That's been streaming on the Amazon app. If you go to like Amazon videos or just click the link on Twitter, it'll take you to this like mini series It has about three episodes. And from what I gathered watching the three episodes, it's kind of like how the Sims has impacted these people's lives and how they use the Sims as inspiration to do their everyday stuff. And like, you know, how they create what they create because like they get like you know inspiration and passion from the sims that's what i gathered from the show but yeah i think overall the show itself was actually pretty cool I'm not saying it's like the best thing ever like i'm not gonna lie like i wouldn't watch it again but i think it's cool to see how the sims has affected people and how they can use that as creativity in the real life and stuff like that now granted this is not the first time that the sims has posted some type of tv show 
if I remember correctly, there was another TV show. It's like a reality TV show called Sparked. And that had a bunch of content creators from actual YouTube uh, participate in the shows. I remember there was like drama between X B Rivera and Dr. Gluon. That was funny. And there were some heartfelt moments and there was different unique challenges that was focused on the different play styles of how people play in the Sims. So there was like a build challenge, a creative sim challenge and like a story challenge. So yeah, I think the idea for the sparked one was pretty cool, but I'm not gonna lie, it was kind of cringy. No disrespect to the content creators. It was like Jersey Shore. I'm joking, it wasn't Jersey Shore. But I was gonna say, it's like Jersey Shore mixed with the Sims, but it literally has nothing to do with Jersey Shore. But it was like, yeah, it was weird. Looking at some of the comments here, we have one by Lunar who says, can you make a series about fixing FPS drops that have been plaguing the game for five years? <laughs> for five years. That's funny. Oh my goodness. We have another one here by Sims TS. Tyus, I think. Sorry about that. They say, stop wasting money and time on these cringe series and put more budget into the packs. God damn. Okay, we're just getting right into it. Like, we're not pulling any punches. We have another one here by Bring Negan to Fortnite. Shout out to Walking Dead. They say literally nobody asked for Sims TV series, but everyone asked for bug fixes. God damn. No mercy. And we have this last one here by Alexander who says, what about get creative and fix some bugs? Oh my goodness. But yeah, looking at a lot of these comments here, and let me just say this, I'm just reading what I'm seeing. I'm not like looking for ones where it's like all negative. Okay, this is what I'm seeing. Uh, they're getting dragged, bro. They're getting dragged for the series. And don't get me wrong. I understand the frustration with this because it does feel like a slap to the face. You know, it's like disrespect to Simmers because it does feel like The Sims 4, as of late, has been focusing in different areas besides the game itself. I mean, they opened up a, you know, merch store to sell their Bob Pancake plushies and all this extra shit. Um, you know, a lot of the other games besides The Sims 4 on PC and Mac have been struggling. There's a whole issue with the Sim Guru basically DMing a simmer in the mobile space who was a big influencer trying to do damage control and it resulted in nothing being fixed. There's more people having issues. If you focus on console, you know, um, that's been a big issue as well. Console players still haven't been able to get their console controls fixed and that's become this long dragged out thing for players to get the console controls reverted back to console. The quality of the packs have gone down tremendously. I said that in my for rent review that a lot of the rabbit holes have become more prominent in packs. The worlds have gone down in quality. When they do stuff like this, it's like it's hard to kind of celebrate it and hype it up, even if it is a good show because The Sims, the brand itself is not in a good condition. And it's kind of weird that they kind of act like everything is like fine and dandy. It's all sweet and sugary. Like, no, bro. Like, there's a lot of issues with The Sims 4. You know, I did a poll yesterday asking you guys out of the three packs that released this year, what was your favorite pack? A lot of you said growing together was like your best pack. A lot of you just said like, you know, for rent would be my best pack, but there's too many bugs and glitches. Some people said they love horses. So, you know, Horse Ranch was like their favorite. Some people said none, like none of them are good. Like they're all trash, they're all crap. Um, so there's like a lot of different opinions on like which pack was the best this year. I've been very vocal on this channel that I love growing together, but I do understand the controversy with growing together. I understand that should have been a base game update, but I still love growing together. I love family gameplay. I love the Sims 3 generations. Shout out to the people who know about Sims 3 generations. So that to me was like, you know, my Sims 4 generations. The growing together hype was insane. I resurrected myself and the channel. I came back making content and now we're here thanks to you guys. So, you know, the hype for going together was actually insane, but I can understand like, you know, the controversies with all three packs and all that. But yeah, with that being said, that's all the information for today. I want to thank you guys so much for the support on the channel. We finally hit 3K and it's like a big, big deal to me. But I just want to say thank you guys so much for just like sticking by me and giving me a chance. Like, I know a lot of people click on my videos and they're like, whoa, this is like a dude talking about Sims. And some people just be like, yeah, no, this is not for me. But there's people who actually like listen to like my videos, who watch my videos and they say, you know what, I'm going to subscribe to this guy. So like, I appreciate you guys just taking a chance on me because I know... I'm not everyone's cup of tea. I don't even know what that means, but thank you. Just thank you for the support. Thank you for everything. This has been the boys of Peter Simmer. Stay cool. Stay awesome. Stay simming. Um, I already said the good day part. So, and Merry Christmas or this happy holidays or just have a good night, morning, whatever. Um, take care. And yeah, thank you so much for everything. Bye.